ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. So, Misa. AKA Justin's mama. Now remember a few months ago she was blasting Diddy when Justin was out here acting bad and getting drunk and getting DUIs. And she was saying that, you know, Diddy is the leader of the family and a, a fish head rots from a fish rots from the head up, from the head down, excuse me. And she was saying that she was calling Diddy out. And so now she's back, you know, writing another dissertation, y'all. And um, she's very upset about the treatment that her grown ass son got by the police. Um, so we're going to go ahead and I'm um, going to read to you guys what Misa had to say. She also provided video evidence of the raid as well. So let's mosey on over to Misa's page. So she posted this earlier today. She says, the overzealous overtly militarized force used against my sons, Justin and Christian is deplorable. If these were the sons of non-black celebrities, they would not have been handled with the same aggression. The attempt to humiliate and terrorize these innocent young black men is despicable. Enough is enough. Did Justin need several laser beams from firearms pointed at his chest? Did Christian need a gun pointed at the back of his head while he was handcuffed? How many times have we seen unarmed black men not make it out of these types of situations alive? My son's attorney, Jeffrey Litchum, is investigating the excessive use of force, which was unnecessary and certainly not required by this search warrant. We will fight for justice, utilizing every imaginable, imaginable resource. I'm not with the propaganda. So that's what she wrote. We're going to watch the video real quick. And of course, the blue check marks are all in the comment section, you know, uh, you know, just agreeing with what she said. There's no audio on here either. So um, maybe I'll just, you know, give my little commentary chat. So, OK, so this is the video. They're pulling up in tactical gear, um, armored tanks. You know, this is a big compound. You know, there's not a fucking crackhead in comp a crack house in Compton. I mean, this is a huge compound. So, of course, they're going to come in deep. Because they don't know what's, you know, what to expect. They're flying drones in. So it looks like they got one of the boys. I think that's Christian. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's Christian. So there comes Justin. They got a beam to his chest, beam on his back. And I don't know who that is they're walking out. Okay, so that's the video right there. So let me come back on the screen. We got over 9,000 people in here. Shout out to y'all, child. Come on in. You know, at the end of the day, let me, let me say this, right? <clears throat> as a mother, let me, I'm looking at the right camera. As a mother, right, I have two boys. You know, would I ever want to see my own kids in that situation? Absolutely not. It, it is scary, you know, to see your children, regardless of their age, have guns and lasers pointed at them. But what's also very interesting is she has more smoke for the police than she does for Diddy. I'm trying to figure out who tipped him off. How was it that Stevie J was there, the kids were there, but Diddy was nowhere to be found. Her anger needs to be directed at the daddy, okay? All of this has come about because of Diddy's actions. Now, and also in that lawsuit, if you remember, Justin was allegedly involved where he watched his father shoot one of his friends or whatever. And they covered it up and said that that man got shot in a drive-by. Remember, there was blood all over the bathroom and everything else. So it's very interesting that Justin is being accused of, you know, covering up that, you know, not having any empathy for this black man that his father shot, allegedly. 
But now, you know, everybody's supposed to have all this undue empathy for him having a laser pointed at him. I can say this, I can see a lot less mistakes happening with this situation because it is high profile. Because of who Diddy is, because of who the children are, they're going to make sure to cross all T's and dot all I's. They're not going to just show up at this house. They, they had to get two judges to basically okay this raid. This wasn't where they just showed up and decided to raid the house. These are some serious accusations. And obviously they have something tangible for them to even take it to this level. Again, had Diddy been acting accordingly and just doing the right thing and not trying to act bad and, and you know, be involved in all types of fuckery and sex tracking, sex trafficking, allegedly, he wouldn't be in this situation and neither would his sons. So the blame is on the father. At the end of the day, the tactical team were doing their job. Another reason why it's hard for me to like really feel bad, because I don't know if you guys know this, but this happens to regular people's children in everyday America. One of my best friends growing up, unfortunately, his mom, you know, she was a single mother. She struggled. She had several children and she got involved in the drug game. You know what I mean? Because to make ends meet, right? Single mom, no father. She got involved. And, um, you know, he still has PTSD from those raids. You know, imagine being a kid and they're kicking down your door. They're cutting up your teddy bears, breaking your toys because they're looking for drugs. They got guns pointed at the babies. This happens all the time in America. and Nobody gives a damn. My friend is now in his 40s and he still has PTSD from that. And then them having to be split up. You know what I'm saying? So for me, like the fact one, they're grown, so they're able to process it. Once everything was done, they were uncuffed. They went home, they had dinner. And, you know, I'm not saying that they're not suffering any type of possible PTSD because that's still a scary situation. But what I'm saying is that this happens all the time in everyday USA. And the reason why children get caught up in stuff like that is because of bad decisions that the parents make. So it's hard for me to have all this undue sympathy for them. They will be all right. They will be okay. Even now on social media, everybody's catering to them and oh, you know, sending them prayers and well wishes. And right now there's probably a kid in any town you will say whose door is being kicked in because their daddy's selling meth to make ends meet. Not excusing it because, again, it's the parents' fault when things like this happen. But there's, you know how many kids that, are, that I grew up with alone in the hood who were traumatized because their doors were kicked in? And there's no therapy. You're split up. You're taken into foster care. So, you know, forgive me if I don't have the same level of empathy for these, you know, pampered celebrity children who by the the by what was written in the lawsuit are very much involved in the fuckery. The only one that hasn't been named as being involved in this nonsense is, Qu is Quincy. But Justin's name is all up and through the lawsuit, so is Christian. So again, I, I just, I don't know, I just, I feel no ways. Um, it is sad, of course, as a mother, you're gonna feel sad, you know, that your child is in that situation but obviously somebody taught them this for them to think that that's how life works and that that type of behavior is okay. So the smoke should be on the parent. Just like when this happens in the hood, nobody's really blaming the police. You're blaming the parent. You shouldn't be selling drugs. You shouldn't be doing this. You shouldn't be doing that. You put your children in harm's way. So that's the same mentality I have for Diddy. I'm not really blaming the tactical police. They're doing their job. And honestly, to me, they were probably more safe because of who they are, because of their celebrity. Can you imagine if the gun accidentally went off? How much of a shit show and, and a firestorm that this would cause? But we've had regular people's homes get raided where the children, you know, came out of a closet and scared the officer and were, you know, accidentally shot. So trust me, they definitely went into this situation 
extremely careful. So I, I don't know. I just feel like they were doing their job and this happens all the time. They weren't coming to, you know, pay them a visit and see how they were doing. They were told that there's drug trafficking, sex trafficking, there's weapons. So they're going out for the warrant. Everybody saying, well, like, you know, Stevie J saying, well, this is not El Chapo and, and this and that. They don't know that. They're going into a situation. And somebody said it perfectly, Breonna Taylor. They came into her home because of a drug warrant and she ended up dead. So she's lucky the only thing that happened to her children is that they sat them in that nice ass grass. That grass looked comfortable as fuck. Manicured. And they sat there until they were done with the raid. So I, I just, I, I don't have a whole lot of sympathy for the Dittler and his crew. Especially if what they're being accused of is true. And again, I'll be fair and say that they have not been charged yet. But where there's smoke, there's fire. I don't see them doing raids at the same time at multiple houses just to be doing it. Just to be embarrassing this poor black man. I, I just don't see that. It's been a long time coming for him. So if he's innocent, it will be proven in court. But this is what they do. When they're coming to raid a home, that's what happens. They kick in the door, wave in the 4-4. You know what I'm saying? That's what happens. So, you know, you can say that, oh, if this was a non-black celebrity, this wouldn't have happened. It sounds good, but again, this happens in everyday America. This happens in Compton. This happens in Minneapolis. This happens in New York. It happens in all types of cities where children who are way younger than your grown-ass children... Because again, Christian just turned 26 the other day and Justin is 30. You have babies who are in situations that their parents put them in. And they don't get to just go home and go to a relative. When they get involved in raid situations, they end up in somebody's foster care system, in somebody's home in the middle of the night. So, yeah, this is just how it really gets. It is what it is. Um, so that is what Misa had to say about the situation. And again, I don't think it's propaganda. Like, what, what propaganda? They were, they were being served. They were responding to a, a warrant. So there's no propaganda. So I just, I just find the whole situation interesting. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.